Got to get that way. Why am I walking this way? Okay. I just want to be on camera. Your time. I just want to be on time. camera. Go back I'm to your channel. Here. See you later. Bye. Good morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel today is wednesday i have no idea what this video is going to be it's been about a week and a half since i filmed the last one so i thought this is going to be a general what i eat what i do general day in the life of the weird strange world of me so at the moment guys i'm now about 13 weeks out from my bikini competition i'm about two weeks out from, two weeks out? Two weeks out? <laughs> oh, Laura, I'm about. Um, uh, okay, so let's just quickly show you my breakfast before we rush out the door, so. Protein shake done in a Nutribullet with loads of ice to make it thicker. Cinnamon cereal crunch. Really delicious protein powder, especially at breakfast time. So cool, look at this, the box. It's like a cereal box. And then it comes like that, which is pretty cool. And then on the hob here, we've got 40 grams of oats just with some water. I'm gonna pour them on this small banana. And then into the oats, just to make them sweet, I added these drops. So I put some cinnamon and some banana. I mix them together because, you know, I live on the edge like that. So you might be wondering why don't she just put the protein powder in the oats. The reason I don't do that is because it just feels like, A, I get to drink a load of water when I have this, and I'm not great at drinking water in winter because I just don't get thirsty. And B, it feels like I'm getting more food. Like I get to eat this and then drink this. I don't know, it just feels like I'm getting more in my stomach. So if you are having protein and oats, try the flavor drops, separate them out. Um, little prep hack from me. Anyway, I need to eat this and get some work done. So I'll catch up with you guys when I next eat, which probably won't be long. You know, you're dieting when you get ridiculously excited about things like this. So I need to show you guys this. So this is my new, I love a six pack bag. Like I love being organized. I love taking my meals everywhere because I'm sad. Um, but how cool is this? So look, this new bag from Prepped and Packed and it's got brand new Tupperwares. Then you got like this bit. Your shaker, you can put your shaker in this side bit. Sorry, this is terrible camera work, Laura. And then this back bit here, where I can put like my laptop and other things in. But yeah, I'm very excited about this. So you don't need to plan and prep all your meals and eat everything from Tupperware. You don't. But if you do, it bloody helps. As I said in my last YouTube video, you know, like low calories go a lot further if you make your food yourself. What I'm a big fan of doing is like doubling up and making second portions. Woo! that sun is coming in so I'm gonna make a bit of a curry um, so I've got some chicken and I'll put the ingredients on the bottom of the, the screen the quantities and stuff so I've got some chicken I've got some veggies that I'm gonna bulk it out with so some asparagus and mushrooms are going in this one I've got this sauce now if you know anybody the slimming world or you do slimming world yourself you will know that people are absolutely raving about this at the moment as it tastes like a proper dirty chip shop curry <laughs> but it has very good macros and it's literally just a powder that you make it looks pretty gross in here but as a powder and then you mix it with water and it makes this sauce but there is a tracking issue with this and this is a great example actually of why you need to be aware with labels so the instructions tell you to use a certain amount of powder and mix it with a certain amount of water and that gives you the sauce. But the actual macros for the sauce are given to you per 100 grams of finished sauce. So what I'm gonna do to track this accurately is I'm gonna make it up to the, the instructions here and then I'm gonna weigh it into my portion or like double portion and split it by two so i'll show you guys how i do that and then i'm just going to serve it with one of these well half of one of these bags of rice method 
So if you've got good scales, you'll be able to do this. I really hope you can hear this okay. Um, so I've set my scales to zero. I have made this before, honest. It's nice to... Okay, so there's 85 grams. Plus the bloody lid, oh there it is. Right. So we've done our 85 grams. So now I'm just gonna mix that with the cold water, but then I'm weighing it out per 100 grams. So I'm gonna cook up the salt and then I'll weigh it back out. This, this might seem a bit overkill with doing this, but once I've done this once, I now know that that's how much sauce that makes. So I won't then have to repeat this process. So if you think that tracking macros in this, oh God, that looks like a bit of aggro. Yeah, it is a bit of aggro to some extent, but the plus side of doing it this way with dieting is that I don't have to follow a meal plan, I have to eat, I can eat what I'm craving when I'm craving it. So every kind of diet, there will be a trade-off, whatever it is. With macro tracking and stuff, it just means that you have to weigh your food and stuff from time to time. But it really doesn't have to be that hard. I need to get back on that. But yeah, that's so, now I've done this once, I'm not gonna have to weigh it out again. The next time I make this meal, I already know what I'm having. In the hills, those hazy days I do remember we were running still Had the whole world at our feet at this point, I should probably state that this video is in no way endorsed or sponsored by Mayflower Curry Sauce. Um, but if you are wondering where I got it from, Home Bargains, 99p. Watching the seasons change, your roads were lined with adventure, mountains in the way, couldn't keep us from the sea. Here we stand up in arms, this is home where we are, ever strong in the world. recognize him i'm the one that can't eat cereal from uh oh yeah they haven't seen that so i beat dan this is daniel me i beat him in a cereal eating challenge which is over on their youtube channel actually biceps and banter i've got your plug there dan yes we've camera. only got about two subscribers you're yeah, upset you, about this you need to upgrade your camera definitely we need to talk about that and yeah. your microphone you're not even got guys hit subscribe then. so i start making some money so i can buy a new camera but we just had a nice coffee dan yeah. youtube top diet tip go Oh, top diet tip. Don't eat in the morning. That's my top diet. I don't eat. I can fast all morning. I can't do you that. You can't do that, can you? No, that's <laughs> not a good one. I can't do that. That's, that's not a good one. one. Um, what's, um, I, I don't know. For a nutritionist, it's not great, I've only got 10 minutes from this video. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what I would do. Is My favourite thing at the moment is Greek yogurt, frozen raspberries, and a big pot of jelly all mixed together. Really? Bed. What, like you mush it all up? Yeah, all together. That's there really guys. Good. You gotta go that way. <laughs> Why am I walking this way? Like Dan, I just wanna be on camera. I just you wanna be on camera. Time. Go back to I'm your going. channel. See you later. Bye. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay guys, so it's about five o'clock. I'm gonna quickly have some food before I head to the gym. But this is basically 5% fat beef mints and then I've just cooked it up with some mushrooms and I put some seasoning in just so it's not too bland so I use chili powder and I use paprika, the smoky stuff. You can make this into burger shapes if you wanted but I just couldn't be bothered and then I've got that with some salad and then some of these sweet potato fries that I bought from Aldi so you literally just pour them on a tray and go a little bit higher in fat because they're made with olive oil but these actually taste like proper fries and then I put the other half in my Tupperware ready for tomorrow I would eat any of this stuff cold so it's fine and a bit weird like that and then I'll chuck some salad in with that so I'm gonna cover it in my favorite ketchup wolf this down now um, and I'll check in with you guys at the okay, gym. So just get my stuff ready for after gym and I thought I'd show you guys so this shake is great by the way because it's got two compartments so in this bottom bit I've got a shake ready for after training because I always get really hungry and really thirsty after training and it's always sensible to get some protein in post-workout so I'm actually having to voice over the rest of this because like an idiot I put my finger over the microphone but I've also got some creatine really really good supplement creatine um, it's one that I would definitely recommend taking. I won't bore you with the reasons why now, but I'll put a link below to an Instagram post that um, explains exactly why you should take it. But great supplement if you're looking to build some more muscle mass or tone up. Um, the other supplement that I have is BCAAs, and these aren't an essential supplement. It's just something that I like to drink during training, basically. Um, it gets me to drink more water, adds a bit of flavor, and just adds a little bit of extra protein into my day. But it's certainly not a supplement that I would say is essential by any means. 
Um, it's just a, a nice to have supplement and they're watermelon flavor and I think they're really tasty. Um, and the other thing I've got is just a banana for some carbs post-workout. Um, again, nothing magical about it. It's just that I get hungry and a banana is easy to eat in the car. So I realized I probably didn't, should have told you guys. So in case you're wondering why my calories have suddenly gone up, because in my last two videos I was down at 1400. My actual calories across the week are the same because before I was doing 1400 and then having two higher refeed days. Now what I've done with my calories is rather than have it low and then the bigger days, I've actually just gone a bit more even across the board. I was kind of macro hoarding a little bit to have a big refeed, which was all very good and well in terms of like satiety and taking the edge off and meaning that I could get some cravings out. Um, but it wasn't great from a training being an athlete and competing it, you do have to prioritize training and this is where it's like different like if you're just dieting for life to lose a bit of body fat set your calories up however suits you best because at the end of the day your body doesn't know it's Monday Tuesday midnight whatever it just sees total energy balance so you can distribute your calories however you like throughout the week and that's what I do with my clients I find out how they like to eat and then we come up with a structure that's going to benefit their goals but also their preference as well eating the goal is to get to stage with maximal muscle mass so when you diet put very simply stuff gets broken down from everywhere so you don't just lose body fat you also break down muscle mass for fuel as well because your body's not getting enough fuel from food so it has to start getting that energy from elsewhere so that you can function day to day now the way to i'm going to turn the engine off the way to negate some of that we do two things the first one is make sure you've got sufficient protein in your diet which is why bodybuilders always bang on about protein because that does reduce the risk of breaking down muscle mass it maintains helps to maintain lean tissue so that you break down body fat and the second thing is sufficient resistance training because that is a stimulus to again maintain and build muscle mass so those two factors need to be there if you want to look toned or lose body fat and not muscle mass for me with my calories being at 1400 it was just too low for me to kind of train as hard as I'm used to training I really noticed that I was fatiguing I had a, a loss of interest in my sessions the numbers now the loads that you lift will decrease if you're doing a contest prep there's no two ways of getting around it you're on less fuel but you know I was just I shouldn't be struggling as much in training as I was this early on so I said Laura stop being an idiot bump your calories up a little bit more each day so that's what I've done so that's a very long-winded way of telling you why I'm on 1700 calories Nat if you're watching this I am sorry I am late I am coming to the gym I've said this like four times now I'm on my way she is living her best life remember Nat no swearing on this one eh <laughs> to cut that out now I got past nine I've just got back from the gym I'm shattered that was a tough session with Nat I didn't film anything because she was too busy spotting me I love it when I train with Nat because she really really pushes me out of my comfort zone so I lifted some bigger numbers for me tonight I'm happy with that and I'm definitely going to be training with Nat a lot more during this preps so anyway I'm going to eat this apple last bit of food for the day got my meal prep all set for tomorrow so now because I've done all that today I'll just run the same day of food tomorrow and don't even have to think about it that I've put anything in my fitness power is just going to make my life a lot lot easier when I've got an even busier day Day tomorrow but right now I need some sleep if you guys find this video useful make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from my prep across the coming weeks yeah sorry this has been all over the place it's been a crazy day but until next time I'll see you later